I think it's almost two months ago that I uh, used this old lathe and that was for making a dry spur for my wood lathe. At the time I noticed that the spindle um, was a bit binding so tonight I will uh, disassemble the uh, spindle again and uh, see if I can uh, improve things. Well it looks like I still don't have the uh, correct oil. This, uh, this oil seems to be drying out and uh, well crystallizing. There was a there was a bit of a oily dripstone underneath the spindle. Here you can see what's uh, left of that uh, dripstone. I was using that uh, Shell Telus ISO uh, 46 hydraulic oil, but uh, I clearly need to look for something else. I find this very strange. So the lathe has been sitting here doing nothing for two months and now the spindle is completely uh, frozen up. I can't get it moving with one hand. Yeah, well there it is. It just broke free. Took quite a lot of force. Let's see if I can still uh, disassemble this thing in uh, like five minutes or less. Oops. I think my uh, binding problems started again after I modified this uh, ring on the front that uh, keeps the uh, spindle from uh, moving forward. There's still a lot of good oil there. Oops. That uh, took more than seven minutes. I must be getting rusty. Although uh, I didn't spend a minute or two looking for my tools. Um, this is the front bearing. And this looks like it's uh, a copper oxide because it's a uh, greenish like three four millimeters on the inside all the way around a little less at the bottom and the whole bearing surface here is also green it also transferred a bit to the spindle here's the ring that uh, rides up against uh, this surface and it is also a bit green I don't know if you can see this on camera. I'm not sure if this is uh, because of the wrong oil or because of uh, a bad fit. So this is the ring that rides up against uh, the rear of the front bearing. And look how dirty it got. I already cleaned off this surface. The green uh, copper oxide is mostly gone it looks like there's a little it looks like there is some it 
looks like there's a bit of a layer of well it can only come from the oil stuff is also on the side where the uh, extra oil comes out spindle starts rusting again even though I uh, drenched it in oil the rear bearing looks uh, pretty much the same as I left it the last time um, there's one big difference between the front and the rear bearing there's nothing riding up against this uh, side of the bearing disassembling the uh, spindle pushed the uh, front bearing forward again I wonder if I should pin the bearing drill a few holes through here and put in some uh, grub screws every time you disassemble or every time when you hammer out a, a, a tapered uh, arbor uh, you risk moving the bearing forward and over time it gets looser and looser I'm going to scrape off uh, this green stuff using this uh, box cutter knife And when I'm done with this, I will uh, put it back together. If anybody knows why this is happening, let me know. Put it in a comment. Guess I just about had it with this life. I want to be able to use it and not worry about the spindle to be continued probably